Hi friends, welcome back to Ideal Knowledge and Education World. My name is Sharkar Abdullah Gulam, and today we are going to discuss branches of biology in terms of special groups of organism. In terms of major kind of organism, the study are botany, zoology, and anthropology. Anthropology is also known as human biology okay now we are going to read special groups of organisms we are going to read the branches of biology special groups of organism in terms of special groups of organism the first bacteriology that only studies related to bacteria occurrence and the characteristics of bacteria all studies related to bacteriology okay next virology the study of virus the effects the disease and the treatment of virus related to virus whatever it is the study is virology next mycology Mycology, as you can see, it is a study of fungi. In higher standard, you will read a detail about fungi. For now, the branches of biology, in terms of special groups of organism, you just only need to remember the branches. Mycology, next one is entomology. Entomology is the study related to insects. Insects, we know, we find insects everywhere around us. We also find the insects in our house. There is also a biology, household biology it is. So, household biology is related with the prevention of ourselves and our belongings. How to prevent it from the damage of insects. Okay, we will discuss it later on. So, entomology is the study of insects. Okay, next ishthyology ishthyology is the study of fishes the breeding process maybe the culture and varieties of fishes whatever the study related to the fishes is under the study of ishthyology okay next herpetology herpetology is the study of snakes those are reptiles lizards etc so herpetology is the study of how the snakes are from where the snakes have come this is a common question from where the snakes have come so snakes lizards etc are all under the study of herpetology okay we will discuss it later on for now the next and the last one is ornithology Ornithology is the study of birds, the evolution of birds, divergent evolution, convergent evolution, and the theory of evolution all could be found under the study of birds. And the study is ornithology. Now, branches in terms of approach on studying it. Studying the branches in terms of approach anatomy. Structure of organism seen in dissection. It means anatomy is the study of structure after the dissection of an organism. Next, morphology. Interpretation of structure. Interpretation of structure comes after dissection. After dissection, we interpret the structure and this morphology is external and internal. We study the external morphology and the internal morphology as well. This total external and internal study of the structure is morphology. Next, histology. Histology, as we have earlier read, cells, the smallest unit of a living organism. So, cells or tissues, group of cells performing a similar activity is a tissue group of cells together are called tissue 
and these cells could only be observed in the compound microscope. So histology is the study of the minute structure or cells or in group tissue under the microscope. It is only possible if we observe it in the microscope or under the microscope. Okay. Cytology. Now what is cytology? We are very much familiar with it. Every day lot of our laboratory works are related to cytology. Cytology is actually the structure and function of plant and animal cell. In laboratory we deal with the structure and function of the plant and animal cell. Like let me give you an example. When you read about structure you will read that the animal cell have a cell membrane, a cytoplasm, a nuclear membrane, and endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi bodies, vacuoles, many other things are there. Vacuoles is not present in animal cell, it is present in plant cell. So plant and animal cell, when we read about the structure and function related to the plant and animal cell, this is the cytology. That means reading the structure and function of the cell is the cytology. Okay, next, physiology. Now physiology is what? is not related with any cell or anything okay physiology in a total is a big study I mean study of a bigger organism physiology functions and activities of organism and its parts okay so whatever function we are doing and activities we are doing we are organism and our parts this total study is physiology okay later on we will discuss more about physiology as it is a good subject related to medical field okay medical science as a subject physiology next embryology we know about the development of embryos in the plant and animal in animals where the embryo develops we will discuss it later now for the plants where the embryo develops and the formation as well as the development of the embryo is the study of embryology. You will only know when you study embryology. So embryology is the study of development and formation of the embryo in plants as well as animals. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe.